Hello everyone. It's going. Welcome to morning devotions at the Garden of Hope. It, uh, we had a big storm yesterday right after I uh, started filming the uh, birds out here and uh, it rained overnight quite a bit so it's a lot cooler this morning it's a little steamy out you know but uh, sure feels better than it has though it's been really hot really hot I want to thank everybody for the prayers for me uh, everything went well at my surgeon uh, at his, at his appointment yesterday and um, he doesn't he doesn't want to tackle everything at once uh, he says I just can't take it uh, you know I'm uh, still really weak and stuff but he just wants to do things one at a time so uh, so he'll he'll be doing my first hernia surgery on September 11th at 11 a.m. and uh, just when it gets closer to time you know uh, I'll probably ask for some more prayer but I appreciate everybody's comments and prayers and things on a uh, prayer request Kara Hamill's losing sight in one eye due to macular degeneration Barbara Acker's on a two-week heart monitor because of her dizziness. And Kathy Mulligan would like to thank the Lord for giving her excellent test results. And uh, Tweet Cyst was gone when they did tests on her. Logan's MRI showed no torn ligaments and he has to have therapy next. We got the appointment. I, I can't remember. Joy has to keep up with all the appointments and stuff. I mean... She does for us. Um, White Lily has had an MRI yesterday. Jennifer's daughter, Chloe, she had a dental procedure and she was in pain and nausea. Uh, Jennifer, give us an update on, on Chloe, how she's doing. Um, Sherm, pray that he recovers well from his shoulder surgery. Logan asked for your prayers that his friend Laurel was able to find a job. Tracy Cook had to go to her doctor to have her legs checked for clots. Our Bible reading today comes from Job 38, 1 through 11. I haven't seen the hawks out here for probably five days now. Uh, they take off sometimes and don't come back for a long time. Then the Lord spoke to Job out of the storm. He said, Who is this that obscures my plans with words without knowledge? Brace yourself like a man. I will question you and you shall answer me. Where were you when I laid the earth's foundation? Tell me if you understand. Who marked off its dimension? Surely you know. Who stretched a measuring line across it? On what were its footings set? Or who laid its cornerstone while the morning stars sang together and all the angels shouted for joy? Who shut up the sea behind doors when it burst forth from the womb? When I made the clouds its garment and wrapped it in thick darkness? When I fixed limits for it and set its doors and bars in place? When I said this far, you may come and no further. Here is where your proud waves halt. Okay. Our devotion today is entitled, The Lord Speaks. We can find nearly every argument in the book of Job about why there is pain in the world, but the arguing never seems to help much. His is a crisis of of a relationship more than a crisis of doubt. Can he trust God? Job wants one thing above all else, an appearance by the one person who can explain his miserable fate. He wants to meet God himself face to face. Eventually Job gets his wish. God shows up in person. 
He times his entrance with perfect irony, just as Job's friend Elihu is expounding on why Job has no right to expect a visit from God. No one, not Job nor any of his friends, is prepared for what God has to say. Job has saved up a long list of questions, but it is God, not Job, who asks the questions. Brace yourself like a man, he begins. I will question you and you shall answer me. Brushing aside 35 chapters worth of debates on the problem of pain, God plunges into a majestic poem on the wonders of a natural world. God's speech defines the vast difference between the God of all creation and one puny man like Job. His presence spectacularly answers Job's biggest question, is anybody out there? Job can only respond, surely I spoke of things I did not understand, things too wonderful for me to know. Dear Holy Father, Lord, I want to pray today for everybody on the prayer list, Lord. Please help all their needs and help all their problems and help anybody else out there that needs it. In the Lord's name I pray, amen. I hope y'all enjoyed this morning's devotions at the Garden of Hope. Please press that like button, subscribe if you hadn't already, and hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody have a great day. I'll see you later on.